Hello everybody, it's time for the answers for DDM 395. It was easy. No, it was kind of tough. Let's listen to it one more time. You know, with all due respect, I would think it's right up your alley. It's one thing if I make it up. I know what I'm doing. I know my alleys. <laughs> you know, with all due respect, I would think it's right up your alley. It's one thing if I make it up. I know what I'm doing. I know my alleys. All right. So just two guys talking, having a conversation, and the answers are right here. It's really simple, right? No, I know. It's fast. So let's go ahead and, and talk about this. So you know. Now, the daily English pronunciation of you, we actually have three pronunciations, and the common sound is going to be y. Yeah. You know, you know, you know. So perfectly, you know. And it doesn't mean anything, okay? It's just like, um, well, you know, same idea. It doesn't mean anything. It's just uh, 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 an intro uh, phrase that we use in sentences. Uh, well, mm, you know, you know, y y y y you know, you know, with all. We got linking here, not with all. With all due respect. And this is a schwa. R -r 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 respect. We can stop the sound here. Perfect pronunciation. Respect. Respect. But in daily English, respect. And then you can stop the K. Respect. Or you can stop the K and the T at the same time. Respect. Okay, so in my mouth, the back of my tongue is stopping the K, and the front of my tongue is stopping the T. Respect. Okay? With all due respect. Now, if I do a, uh, a good stop sound with a T, this might link. With all due respect, die. With all due respect, die. With all due respect, die. Let's listen. What does the guy say? This is Jerry speaking. Wait a second. You know, with all due respect, I would think it's right up your alley. Respect, I would. Respect, I would. Respect, I would. So that T, it sounds more like a D, and it comes over. It links over. You know, with all due respect, I would. Respect, I would. I would think. Now here, we have a good D-T-H. These are similar pronunciations. We can put them together. So perfectly, would, d -d 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 -d. and then the tongue slides down for the T-H. Would, think, would, think. But again, in daily English, we put these similar sounds, we push them together, and what we end up is, would think, would think, would think. So we kind of hear more TH than a D. Now, these are things we talk about in DDM. Uh, and this is actually from a, from DDM 83. Um, so it's a really common pronunciation trick when you have similar sounds to put them together and to focus on the second sound. Would think, would think, would think. I would think it's, and here again we have linking, think it's. Now here, uh, basically it's a stop T, it's, and this S sound actually comes over here. It's right, it's right up, and we have a T linking here, it's called a flap T. Right up, dup, dup, it sounds like a D. Right up. How do you say, here's a question for you, how do you say this word? Perfect pronunciation. We have three, I say two pronunciations. Your, which is perfect. Your, and the daily English pronunciation, your, your, your. Now, this P sound is going to link. So it's going to be up your, up your, up your alley. And this R sound is also going to link. And if something is up your alley, especially right up your alley, this is an idiom. And I'll talk about that in a couple minutes. All right, let's practice here. You know, with all due respect, I would think it's right up your alley. You know, with all due respect, I would think it's right up your alley. You know, with all due respect, 
fact, I would think, gets right up your alley. I would think it's right up your alley. I would think it's right up your alley. Now, let's move to George. Again, just like this, it's right. I want the same thing here. We're going to stop the T and bring the S over here. It's one, swan, swan. It's one thing if I, thing if I, linking, linking, make it up. Flap T again, make it up. Right up, it up, make it up. It's one thing if I make it up. It's one thing if I make it up. All right, and to make something up is a great phrasal verb. It's one thing if I make it up. I know what I'm, flap T again, what I'm, not I'm, but what I'm doing. Now, once again, this ing, we can say ing, in, un. And un is the most common. So I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I know my alleys. Okay? So if you got this idiom up here, then this was easy down here. So that's the pronunciation. Um, I'm going really fast, but this is something that uh, I practice with in my DDM classes a lot more. This is tiny, much, much more. Join DDM, okay? Um, and uh, yeah, the link is right up here, www.letsmasterenglish.com slash free. By the way, for 2019, right now for me, this is 2019, every day, Monday through Friday, we're giving out a free email English lesson, okay? It's not for beginners, it's for intermediate and advanced. But if you're a DD, if you're watching Daily Dictation, on YouTube, it's a really good uh, chance to study some English for free, all right? And yeah, so do that. And sometimes I give discounts on our lessons, so you might want to join uh, with one of those. But anyway, it's a great opportunity uh, to join us. So let's go ahead and I want you guys to repeat after me, okay? You know, with all due respect, I would think gets right up your alley. You know, with all due respect, I would think it's right up your alley. It's one thing if I make it up. I know what I'm doing. I know my alleys. It's one thing if I make it up, I know what I'm doing. I know my alleys. Yeah, with all due respect, I would think it's right up your alley. It's one thing if I make it up, I know what I'm doing. I know my alleys. <laughs> all right, once again, this is from a sitcom, a situation comedy called uh, Seinfeld. And we studied this section uh, back in DDM 83, okay? So again, you can get some free DDM lessons. Uh, sign up above, letsmasterenglish.com slash free. Um, you can get those for free. You can download them if you're having a problem. If you're like maybe from China and you're having a problem, just send us an email, okay? The email, I'll give you an email address here. And uh, let me get, there we go. Uh, help at let's master english.com okay that's our email address if you're having a problem tell us what the problem is uh i'm trying to you know get the free lessons or something like that and somebody will help you so please get that stuff uh let's talk about this story here you know you know doesn't mean anything no special meaning um well you know say er doesn't mean anything with all due respect now, this is a great expression, and we use this expression before we say something the other person might not like. So I'm going to criticize you. I'm going to say something kind of bad about you. I'm going to say, you know, you're a nice guy, but 
you're, you have a problem here. So if I'm going to say something critical, if I'm going to say something negative to you, but I don't want you to be mad, I use, excuse me, I use this expression. With all due respect, um, with all due respect, I would think it's right up your alley. I would think it's right up your alley. So I'm not going to tell you what it is. Uh, however, if you if you get uh, DDM 83, and you can get just the single lesson, it's possible to order uh, the that single lesson down below in the description. You can do that. Um, I would think it is right up your alley. If something is right up your alley, it means something that you can do well, something that you can easily do. So, for example, excuse me, I got something piece of hair. I was eating my hair, maybe my son's hair. Anyway, um, so I'm an English coach, right? And how did I become an English coach? Specializing in pronunciation, daily English, this style. Well, what happened was I started learning the Korean language. And I noticed, you know, there, there were no textbooks, but when you read something in Korean and when you listen to something in Korean, especially like songs and TV shows, the pronunciation was so different. You know, in the book, it says, with all due respect. But in real life, with all due respect, it's totally different. So I started studying this in the Korean language, and then I realized Korean students wanted to study English, I could do the same thing with them. So over the years, I developed uh, this uh, teaching style. So because I was studying the Korean language, teaching American pronunciation and the American languages is easy for me. It's something that I do. It's something in me. It is right up my alley. Right up my alley. It's an idiom. It means something I can do. Good, really well. George, it's one thing if I make it up. Okay, so I'm not going to explain one thing. Once again, you'll have to get the full DDM lesson for, for this stuff here. But uh, to make something up is a great phrasal verb, and it means to create. Okay, uh, so... Uh, what's uh, So the name of my speaking class. We have a speaking class, too. And... I made it up. I created the name. The name is perf, as in perfect English, but the spelling is different, P-I-R-F. And it means pronunciation, intonation, rhythm, and flow. But that name, that perf, I made it up. I created it. And that's what George says. It's one thing if I make it up. If I make it up, that's one thing. I know what I'm doing. I know my alleys. All right. And once again, this last sentence is a reference to, uh, where we go? There we go. This last sentence is a reference to the idiom right up your alley. And I'm not going to explain what it is because you guys can get the lesson and find out or watch Seinfeld. All right. Uh, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed the lesson and I hope you enjoy this style. I will continue to, the, to do this style in the future. Please leave some comments. Please tell your friends. Uh, go up here. Oh, you can't. Ah, go over there. There you go. Go over there and get the free lessons. Let'smasterenglish.com slash free. If you're having a problem with the free lessons, with the email, you know, whatever, uh, just send us an email. And that email address is right here, uh, help at letsmasterenglish.com. Listen again a couple times, one more time, and that's it. Take care, guys. Good luck on the next challenge. Yeah, with all due respect, I would think it's right up your alley. It's one thing if I make it up. I know what I'm doing. I know my alleys. <laughs>